Well, greetings, church family. Today's daily Bible reading had us finishing up the book of Psalms. Four months in the book of Psalms, Psalms 149 through 150. And congratulations on finishing up this wonderful book. We know there's a lot of repetition in the book of Psalms, and that's great because repetition is the key to learning, and the key to learning is repetition. Well, Psalm 149, high praises of God, an anonymous psalmist, and it begins and ends with the word hallelujah. Remember, that is praise Yahweh. Verses 1 through 4, there's a congregational praise. Notice the focus on praising God as an assembly, here as the congregation of Israel in Zion. And notice both body and voice involved in such congregational praise. Verse 4 here is key and one worth meditating on. What do we read in verse 4? For Yahweh takes pleasure in his people. He will beautify the afflicted ones with salvation. We're going to return to that in just a little bit. Verses 5 through 9, joyful service. Though the service rendered here in Psalm 149 refers to the execution of God's just judgment on his enemies and the enemies of his people, with Israel being the instruments of warfare in the Lord's hands, The key idea is clear. There's a joyful honor to be had when God's people serve and praise the Lord. And then we get to Psalm 150, total praise of Yahweh. Another anonymous psalmist, perhaps the same one as Psalm 149, begins and ends once again with hallelujah. And each verse here has multiple examples of commands to praise God. Verses 1 and 2, expansive praise. The psalmist begins by mentioning the proper locations of praise. In God's sanctuary, which would have been the tabernacle and later the temple here on earth, as well as in his presence, in the mighty expanse or firmament where the Lord dwells, heaven. And then the psalmist also includes the reason to praise God, because of his works. Notice he said mighty deeds and his character. Notice he said, excellent greatness. Then verses 3 through 5, there's musical praise. A multitude of instruments are brought up by the psalmist as tools to be used to assist God's people in praising him. Stringed instruments, wind instruments, percussion, all sorts of instruments used together to sing a joyful praise to the Lord. And then finally, verse 6, total praise. Perfect verse to not only sum up this psalm, but the book of Psalms in their entirety. Let everything that has breath praise Yahweh. Hallelujah. Praise Yahweh. As we close out the psalms, what more can be said? Yahweh is so very great and so very good. His deeds are mighty, and his great character is nothing short of excellent. God is holy and transcendent so very far above us, and yet he is so kind and good too. And though you and I are wicked sinners, look what the psalmist says God delights in doing. Once again, verse 4 of Psalm 149, For Yahweh takes pleasure in his people. He will beautify the afflicted ones with salvation. Ultimately, this beautification occurred in the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. And so we are to repent and believe in him if you have not. Turn from your sin, forsake it, and trust in Jesus Christ alone. And indeed, May everything that has breath praise Yahweh. He's so worthy of it. May that be true of our lives that we would praise him always with every attitude, every desire, every thought, every word, and every other action. This has been Psalms 149 and 150, the end of the book of Psalms. And I hope you have a great day.